Hello and welcome to ShowMeAcademy.com. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to manage comments in Microsoft Excel 2007. Comments provide the capability for you to add metadata to any particular cell in your worksheet. Typical data, of course, is going to be displayed in the traditional format here on screen, but metadata will show up whenever you mouse over the cell. Let me give you an example of that by walking you through the process. First of all, I'm going to go up here and I'll select one of my cells. And rather than just select it with a left click, I will right click on that cell. And when I do, a context menu comes up. And from that context menu, I'm going to go down to the insert comment option. When I do that, you'll see that this pop-up box comes up and it prompts me to type in some text that will be used as the comment. For example, in this case, I'll type in um, Once I type in my text, I'll click anywhere outside of the box, and now that comment is set for that cell. Now, of course, when I click outside, outside the box, you don't see that comment by default. However, you'll notice that in this cell, there is a little red marker in the upper right-hand corner that indicates that there's a comment for me to view. And when I mouse over the cell, when I move the cursor over it, that comment pops up. And that comment is only available whenever I move, move the mouse over that cell. So when I move back away, it disappears. And when I mouse back over it, it reappears. Now we have some other options when we're creating comments as well. For example, I'll go down here. And again, I'll right click and click on Insert Comment. Now you'll notice by default it comes up with my name there in bold followed by a colon. I don't have to accept that there if I don't want. I can get rid of that name. And I can even get rid of the bold by hitting, by hitting Control B, and I can add a new comment. Uh, and now, when I'm done with that comment, I will click anywhere outside the box again. And again, when I mouse over the cell, that comment pops up. Now, I'll give you another option as well. I'm going to click on Dallas Cowboys, and I'll right click on this. And again, pick the insert comment option. And when I do, not only am I going to add up my own comment, but I'm also going to change the size of this comment, or at least the comment box. You'll notice that we have all these little circles around the box itself. Those circles are handles that allow us to change the default size of this comment box. So for example, if I mouse over here, you'll see that my cursor changes, and now I have arrows that allow me to click and drag this box to a larger or smaller size. Now I can grab the other handles as well, like I'll grab this one and shrink it down a little bit. I can grab this one here and make it a little taller, etc., etc., until I have the size that's appropriate for the comment box. And, of course, when I click outside, outside the comment box, it's now set in memory. And when I scroll back over this cell, the comment pops back up. Now, aside from this, you also have some other options for managing your comments. If I right-click on this box again, or on this cell again, you'll see now I have different options over here pertaining to comments. I can edit the comments. I can delete the comments. I can show or hide comments. I'll start with the show or hide. What that does is it basically, basically pops the comment up in a permanent setting so that I don't have to mouse over it to see it. Now you'll see, even though I click off of it and I have my mouse in other places on the worksheet, the comment still remains there to be seen. And if I want to make it go away, I would right click on here again and tell it to hide the comment. And that basically puts it back into a traditional mode where you only see the comment when you're mousing over it. Aside from hiding or unhiding the comments, I can also go back and edit the comment, change the text that's within it. And again, I'll click outside of this. And you'll see now that the text of my comment has changed whenever I mouse over it. 
And finally, of course, you might decide that you actually just want to get rid of the comment altogether. Of course, you have that option here as well. You can simply, once you've right-clicked on the cell, you can go to the context menu and click on delete comment. And that gets rid of your comment altogether. Now, let me give you some other options. I'm just going to add some more comments again. And I'll add one more. And now I have a series of four different comments that are displayed on four different cells as I mouse over them. Now, rather than manage these through the right-click button, which I've been showing you here from the mouse, instead what we're going to do is we're going to go up to our ribbon, and we're going to click on the Review tab. The Home tab comes up by default, but instead we're going to click on the Review tab. And when I do that, you'll see I also have a number of options up here in the ribbon that pertain specifically to comments. Now, first of all, I want to show you what happens when I click on Show All Comments. This puts all the comments up for display in basically a permanent manner. If I click anywhere else in the worksheet, these comments are still there to be seen. Now, of course, as you can see, sometimes it's not practical to do that because one comment might be laid over another. But if necessary, you can click this button and instantly display all the comments that are available in that worksheet without having to mouse over each individual one. When you get tired of that, you don't want those to be displayed anymore, you simply go back and click the Show All Comments button again. And now it toggles it back off, and now the only way to see them is to mouse over them in more of a traditional manner. Another thing you can do is cycle through the comments. Now I've selected the first cell and row here, and from here I'm going to click on the Sorry, I'm going to click on the Next button. The Next button is basically going to take me through the next comment that it finds in the page. And when I click Next again, it'll take me a little further down the page and go to this one, to this one, and I can even cycle back up to the page as well, going to Previous, Next, etc. You also have options up here that allow you, allow you to do the same things that you did with the right-click menu, meaning that I can edit the comment, or I can delete the comment, or I can choose to show or hide this one particular comment. That concludes this tutorial, and thank you for using ShowMeAcademy.com.